Region Chairman, and uh, um, we recently had the Eastern Region Conference, which he organized and spoke at, and so we asked him to share with us what he shared there at the conference. So it, with uh, a background in marketing, let me introduce to you Richard Fullerton. Okay, so uh, well, that was great, that uh, guy. He's Flemish, and English is his second language, and I thought he was really eloquent as well as uh, what he said, so it's really good. Um, as Peter uh, said, we had our, two weeks ago, we had our regional conference uh, in Colchester, uh, and I uh, presented this, although I've adapted it since, improved it, and it, this is a work in progress. And uh, the reason I've done this is that uh, it's something I'd, I'd said to Neil, I wanted to work on the UKIP brand, and my background is marketing, and I wanted to plot a way forward for the party. Um, get us thinking about it. So this is all about generating debate uh, within your branches and yourselves. We won't have time today, but you're welcome to speak to me later. Uh, hopefully the animations will work, so I'm just going to say next slide, next slide, next slide, um, and hopefully they'll build. Okay, next slide please. That's what Nigel said, I think it was in Derby or somewhere like that. Um, and he's right. I remember him saying it at the time. Next slide. Okay, as I said, this is all about debate. Uh, it's, it's from a perspective of marketing, but we're a brand, so let, let's treat ourselves. Um, we've got to evolve and grow and mobilize if, if we're, if we're going to survive, because um, as, as you'll see in a sec, next slide please. Uh, membership is, is flatlining at the moment, we need to build. Here are the six issues facing the UK. Um, some of the audience at our conference actually suggested other things like housing, but I'd say these are the top six issues. Next slide please. And I suggest these are the top three issues now. And I think immigration has just recently, in the past few months, I think it's bubbled to way up there amongst the mindset of the public. I've just detected it out there. Is UKIP still a thing? This is something I get asked on when I'm tweeting on, uh, on Twitter. Uh, you know, the people who have a, have a dig at us. Uh, and I think we are. You know, Brexit um, has, has made us seem redundant, um, but we have become invisible. Uh, we've lost Farage and we had internal fighting with a bunch of members, but we are, we are relevant, we have to be relevant because of all the threat that's happening to our society, which Philip's just uh, outlined and others. And Anne-Marie Waters, fantastic, great. Do you know I had someone who came to our conference and rejoined? As soon as he heard that Anne-Marie Waters had, was addressing this conference, he, he had resigned. What can you do with people like that? And when Rotherham is happening again, you know, we, we just got to let that happen and find other people. Eastern Region membership. This is our, since uh, 2021, this is our trajectory. I thought we'd bottom, we'd flatline, but actually we're still declining slightly by about five members a month. So we need to build this membership. I think, I'm assuming a national membership, two or three thousand, but we've got this age issue. We've got to grow our membership. We've got to go for the young, as Philip said. Are you all familiar with the SWAT, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats? That's us on the top left. We've got, we do have a loyal core membership base, but we're seen as irrelevant. We've been weakened, we've lost our brand structure. But look at the opportunities. We a Tory budget meltdown. I mean, <laughs> what are they doing themselves? The failure to tackle immigration, and that's, that's key. That, you know, we can expose them for that. There's the climate change scam. There's uh, a developing a radical policy position that gives us stand up, which I'll talk more about that. Those are the opportunities. And then, of course, we've got the threats. You've got the hostile media, people who paint us as racist. <laughs> so that's the swap, basic swap. These are our problems. Are we all agree with that? Yeah. 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 Next. So do we have a future? Well, I'd say we're stabilized. There's no internal fighting. Uh, populism isn't dead. Uh, look at Italy. We now have a, uh, an Italian prime minister. Isn't she yes. great? Yes. Oh, have you only seen her speak? She's amazing. Uh, we've got the uncertainty in the world. Uh, we thrive in uncertainty. As I said, immigration is, is uh, going, coming right to the forefront of the mindset of people. And we've got the continued dissatisfaction with the UK political parties. Now, why do we exist? This is what we need to ask ourselves. Understanding our purpose enables us to get our strategy right, and it energizes us. 
So before we develop a plan, we need to ask, why do we exist? Do we exist to take power? Or do we exist to influence those who are in power? And without proportional representation, we've got to be realistic. I'm suggesting that our purpose is not to take power. We exist to influence the policies of those in power. And we must realise that. And here's another marketing vision. Vision statements, organisations have these. I'm, this is my proposed vision for UKIP. I won't read it out, just have a quick scan. Next slide. Mission. Uh, organisations have missions as well. I suggest this. UK Independence Party is a libertarian, insurgent political party that intends to reshape British politics and make our country great again by tackling the issues and problems that other parties will not or cannot address. Make up your own one, but that's, this, is, this is something for us to talk about. Who is our supporter? Traditionally, it's the Brexit supporter, right wing, 50 years, worried about immigration, left behind. But there are many more people, potential people out there. We, we, we must identify, <coughs> segment them. Now, positioning in marketing is key. You can get your positioning right, that's half the job done. It allows us to differentiate ourselves from the, the, from the Lib, Lab con, uh, um, Lib Lab Con cartel, allows us to develop that proposition. And there are things called positioning maps. I'm not a technician on it, but I've used them before, and they're, they're great fun, but they actually show where, where we are. Let's, let's go, four, four slides. So here we've got the top one, we've got libertarian, authoritarian, on the, on the y-axis we've got conservative socialist. And there you go, Labour, Lib Dems, Tories, and UKIP. So we're up there at the moment, yeah? But no one's voting for us. Next slide, please. Yeah. X-axis, we've got control immigration, no immigration control. Y-axis, we've got true Brexit, freight Brexit. Yeah. That's where all the other parties are. Okay, and we're up there. But it's still not working for us. Now, protest vote, safe vote. Relevant party, irrelevant party. So we've got Labour and Lib Dems and Tories all down there, all safe, barely relevant. We're up there at the moment, we're irrelevant and we're sort of protest vote. We need to move to the protest vote and be a relevant party. An alternative way of looking at it is, can a party make a difference for me? Or won't it make a difference for me? Relevant party, irrelevant party. Here are the other parties. UKIP's down there at the moment. We need to be up there. We need to be, tell people we can actually make a difference. So why should people vote for us? Well, there needs to be a purpose, there needs to be a proposition and policies. I suggest we've got purpose, if, if you kind of agree with what I've said, or you can develop your own, but I think we've got a purpose. We've got policies, great, great policies out there, and there's a mini pocket manifesto that's come up, but I, we don't have that proposition. I don't think. So we need to develop a pro proposition. I've tried. This is my attempt. So a proposition tells the customer why they should buy a, political, a particular product or service. And you've got strap lines accompanying logos like, like Nike's Just Do It, um, you know, McDonald's I'm Loving It. Those are, those are distillations of propositions. We've got two. We had Say Britain, now we've got people, not politics. They don't quite do it for me. Uh, I, don't, I don't have an alternative yet, and it, and it takes months. Um, but in thinking about it, I was thinking, well, what's a real conservative? Compare us with the Tories. I won't read it out, you can read it yourself. I mean, <laughs> they're, not, they're not conservatives, they're fake conservatives. Next slide, please. So, you could say, well, a proposition, well, we're, we're the real conservatives. <coughs> However, as it was pointed out to me by Ben and Neil, it doesn't work for the Labour voters we want to attract. So, scratch that. So, proposition. This is, this is a proposition statement from which a strap line can be developed at some stage in the future. Again, this is all for discussion. The independent, UK Independence Party will challenge and influence the policies and actions of those in power, giving a voice and proper choice to those who worry about the direction that our country is going and to those who have been left behind. So it's kind of a catch-all, but that's the best I can do at the moment. These are some suggested objectives for the party. There will be others which have already been formulated, but this is what I'm thinking. Okay, gain representation, increase our share of vote. I've suggested to 5%, that's just, you know, finger in the air. Increase the number of councils at the county district level, and Janice Mackay is doing fantastic work on that. Increasing membership, say to 5,000 by 2024, that's not too ambitious. 
and brand recall. I don't no idea what brand recall is, but we need to get it up. Strategy. We need to get a member of parliament. This is how we're going to achieve our objectives because we're going to be, uh, if we get um, visibility in parliament, we get coverage and, and publicity. Adopt a single issue platform, as we were with Brexit, which gets us uh, into the forefront of the, of the voters' mind. And at the local level, people keep saying, well, we've got to keep targeting the local level. Right, where's Ray? Oh, yeah. There he is. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, how can we get an MP? Well, let's start identifying the vulnerable <coughs> Tory blue wall seats now. Because I don't think Labour's going to quite cut it. They'll probably win the next election at this rate. But, you know, people will vote for them sort of rather sort of hesitantly. Because, and let's face it, Starmer's got the the personality of a traffic bollard, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, we've got to select candidates and we've got to get campaigning, and that's now. And then for a platform, this is the single issue, there are, there's, there's a choice we can do. If we're going to choose a single issue as our sort of our stance, I suggest controlling immigration. Next slide, please. Mm -hmm. We've got history of immigration, we've got a pedigree that was so effective. Okay, the media hated us for it, but we were telling the truth. This was in the um, 1916 uh, Brexit um, uh, campaign. <laughs> it, it, and it's true then, and it's true now. Next slide. And isn't that effective? Whoever developed that in, in UK was amazed. It's, I mean, so effective. We've got, we've got this pedigree, let's use it. And if we control immigration, then all these other uh, aspects Get, come under the umbrella. People sort of realise, oh, we protect the green belt. Oh, we, we're going to stop overcrowding. Oh, we're going to get more homes for British people. Next slide, please. So what, what can we do on the immigration side? Well, let's, let's go for some publicity. You know, there's, there's people gone down to the, um, uh, the south coast. Some get arrested, but you can't get arrested for just holding up a placard. Yeah? They, 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 obviously the police have pushed back but we can do that, we can do demonstrations outside the hotels and as someone suggested we can also demonstrate outside the House of Commons perhaps every Wednesday before press time we, we need to get out there and be noticed now what's the overall message the Tories don't want to control immigration get that ingrained in people's heads next slide here's some ads I've worked up this is one of my favourites the Tories don't want to control immigration we do. Next slide, please. That was the Liverpool bomb at the attempt uh, hospital. The Tories don't want to control immigration. We do. <coughs> Invasion. The Tories don't want to control immigration. We do. Britain's full up. The Tories don't want to control immigration. We do. Deport. We talked about that. Uh, or um, Pat did, great policies there, fantastic. I can't wait to see those, those ships. Um, don't use that, by the way, that's a rap video, from a rap video of that thing, so, but um, anyway, I, that is my asylum seeker, illegal immigrant image um, that I, I chose. Another campaign platform as an alternative is, uh, is based on, on the Tories, and look, look what they've done. You know, absolute mess, um, uh, bet they're gonna cut back on benefits, uh, they're going to plan more immigration, they're going to break the promise, they're going to end planning laws, and they've, they've completely um, messed up their, their budget. So really, well, that's great. I mean, when, you're, when, when, you, when you get to make the front cover of The Economist like that, you realise you're not onto a winner, are you? Next slide, please. It's trust. We can attack them on trust. You can't trust the Tories. Never trust the Tories. Never trust the Tories. Never trust the Tories. <laughs> And this is one of the old ads we had at Brexit. I've, I've adjusted it because we know they're going to betray us again, the fishermen, in, 19, in uh, 2026. We know that. Again, this is an old, old campaign. Great, really powerful. Again, this was an old leaflet. It's true, though, isn't it? We must scare, scare people into voting for us. Okay, so in summary, it's just one view. Just aim to generate discussion. Um, it just charts a way forward. Do think about the single issue platform. Brexit worked for us. We need to choose a single issue platform. I'm proposing that's immigration because I, I think it's, it's reaching a crisis level now. Um, 
It's the elephant in the room. Okay, that's all. I will take some brief questions. Have we got time? Brief questions? We have time. On this. Uh, can I take two? I'll take two. Could you, um, could you print out a small summary of what you've done for all the chairman of the local bank? Can I email it? Is that easier? Uh, email, yeah. Email. Uh, if I, if, if, uh, would take, take my email address uh, off from me, yeah? Should the party um, policy of the moratorium on immigration? Well, what's a moratorium? Do you mean stopping? The moratorium as in no primary immigration for the length of time that for example. Well, I mean, the policy is, you know, to have a balanced immigration. I don't mean net, I don't, I don't mean net zero immigration. I mean a, a, yeah, an, an, an end. No, no primary immigration for a set period of years. Well, personally, I think um, that would be too, too extreme because I think we do need to take people from around the world with skills we require. The problem is, is, the, is the net immigration. So I know we're, we've dropped net zero, but the nuances with that still, we're talking about controlling more or less, you know, more or less net zero, I think, as, as from, from past conversation. But we do need people, like, obviously, people need to come and go. We just need to get rid of the 1.2 million illegal immigrants who are here for a start. Well, you've given out 1.3, uh, 1 million, 350,000 visas. This year. It's it's terrible. It's depressing. Yeah, no. It's depressing. I've got to go before I get more depressed. Sorry, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>